Dr. Lee, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. And to start, can you tell us a little bit about your journey toward becoming a physician? Yeah, my name is uh, Joseph Lee, and I was born and raised in Chicago to uh, two Korean immigrants, um, born on the north side, went to Chicago Public Schools. Um, I really knew that I wanted to work with children. Um, I didn't know in what capacity. And so after four years at Northwestern, I joined a program called Teach for America. Um, and I was a seventh and eighth grade teacher on the South Shore neighborhood of Chicago. Um, so when I was a teacher, I really enjoyed my experience. Very difficult, mm -hmm. um, but I wasn't, I didn't feel that I was advocating enough for my students um, because I felt very limited that, I, you know, I had 30 students that I had to take care of um, and, I, and that's who, you know, my focus was around. Um, but I felt that there were so many more kids out there that I could advocate for. And so I thought that medicine would be the way to do that. Um, so I went to medical college for four years. Um, and then now I'm a pediatric resident. It's clear that you push yourself to think about why medicine. And you've definitely had the time to reflect upon that decision during medical school. So I wanted to know if you would have any reasons why you would discourage a student from attending medical school. Yeah, I've had this conversation with quite a few undergrads, um, and I think it's a great question. First of all, I think that medicine is the you know most amazing career that anyone can have, and it's such a blessing to be a physician in the United States. Um, but I don't think it's for everyone, and so who are the people that maybe should con c should think twice about going to medicine? Mm -hmm. Um, I think sometimes when I talk to pre-meds, they have an idealistic view of medicine, yeah. um, maybe based on what they see on TV, that they will be saving lives every second of every day, um, and that it's a very glamorous lifestyle. Um, and for those students, I would ask them to kind of second guess, because a lot of what we do is very difficult. Um, a lot of what we do is very repetitive and can be mundane. Mm -hmm. There are just a lot of things that go into being a physician, such as paperwork or the calls you make when you're outside of the hospital that don't involve, you know, chest compressions and putting in, you know, intubating patients uh, that you see on TV. And so um, those are kind of the aspects that I think people who haven't thought much about medicine, who go into medicine, are really taken aback by. You do sacrifice much of your 20s to train. Uh, what I mean by that is you don't have the same flexibility as a resident that most people who uh, work in most other careers um, have, for example, um, we work most weeks six days a week, if not seven, um, so that, and, and our hours are usually much longer than a nine to five. Um, vacations are, are rare in residency, um, and, and it's not when we plan, but kind of how the schedule works. And so you find that, you know, you turn 30 and you're still in training, um, and you've had to kind of miss out on some of those opportunities that some of your peers may have, uh, for example, purchasing a house and a car, uh, maybe starting your family, having children, um, because of how strenuous training is. And so if someone isn't willing to make that sacrifice, it'll, it's, it's a very difficult route. Another reason that I would have someone think twice about medicine is the burden of monetary loans that you need to take on to go through medical school. The average loan of a student coming out can range uh, between two hundred to $250,000. And so that is a lot of money, and it's, it's difficult to see those numbers. And I think when I first saw my, those numbers when I graduated, it was uh, a little difficult. Yeah. Um, and then if you go into a career that is particularly in primary care, mm -hmm. um, it's not easy to, you're not going to pay those off, you know, within one or two years. Mm -hmm. and another reason that I would discourage a student from going to medical school is if they have any other interests or possible career options that they are considering. The reason I say that is once you enter into medical school and residency training, there isn't a lot of plan Bs, if that makes sense. So if someone is, you know, 50% medicine, 50% any other career, um, they should really consider that other career first. And you really want to be sure you're, you're going into the field that um, that's meant for you okay. because once you enter medical school, with the exception of a few people, it is basically a lifetime commitment. And so uh, you really want to be sure you, you're okay. ready for that. Yeah, I would be lying if I said, you know, it's all been very easy and I've never 
uh, wanted to take more time off or um, wanted to have more of a Monday through Friday nine to five life. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say those thoughts are very uh, rare. Um, and, and I have many more thoughts of um, feeling very blessed to be in medicine and enjoying my career.